What I'm gonna do today is just show you how I make coffee. Uh, it's one of the ways. I use instant coffee and I use my pour over method. This morning I'm gonna show you how to use the pour over method because instant coffee essentially is the pour over method before you pour it over. So it's heating the water and then just use the instant coffee packet. But today I'm gonna show you the pour over method, the longer, the more difficult, but the it's, it's worth it to be able to drink the type of coffee you prefer instead of using uh, truck stop coffee, which sometimes is okay, but not always, or uh, without having to have a coffee pot dedicated. But instead, you can use this electric kettle that gives you hot water for multiple reasons. I use it for soups and uh, noodles and things like that. So that's why I have this instead of a coffee pot. Let's make some coffee. It's early way early. Alright, so we got everything we need here. We got it all in one shot so I don't have to keep reaching around and all. What you want to do, you either have a gallon of water or whatever I have bottled. And you're going to want to fill up whatever it is that you're actually planning on drinking your coffee out of so you can have the right amount of water. I mean, you could just, if you're just sitting around on a 34-hour reset or something, you just want a whole pot of coffee, that's, that's fine too. But what I have here, I have my water, I have my kettle, my pour-over, carafe, my coffee, filter over. So you're going to just pour this. It's just so you have the right amount. That's all that's for. And the power button is right here on this handle. And it takes about a minute and 57 seconds for this to get to essentially boil the water. Now if if, if it gets too hot, so at like 2 minutes and 40 seconds that it's been going, or 2 minutes and 30 seconds, then it'll just turn itself off. other to work. So put that up there. Now another thing I have to do is it is all done.
Why do I prefer this over a coffee pot, you ask? Because it serves multiple purposes. And I don't have to keep... In a coffee pot, you'd have to pull out and pour water into it, like you'd have to slide it out, and then you'd have to make sure that everything was secure and all that. These I'm able to keep separate, the carafe and the pour over. And what I'll do is I'll actually just I'll just pour water into this to make sure I get it all out and I'll, I'll clean it out. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Wipe it out. I have some uh, antibacterial wipes that I use to clean everything out, but right now I'm just gonna... there you have it. There's your pour over coffee. And um it doesn't escape me that I understand that some people think a coffee pot would be easier, but I need hot water for other things. And this is just a way to make coffee. I think it's a more convenient way because I'm able to store the two carafes separately. I don't need a coffee pot that's sitting somewhere because they can just be awkward, just especially in small spaces like this. And I can leave that hot, the, the hot plate or whatever you want to call it that, that makes the carafe hot plugged in, but it doesn't activate until I put the, um, the, the carafe on it. I was trying to just give y'all some ideas on how you can make coffee, and um, I'm sure you have your own ways, but this is mine. Until next time. Drive on, driver. Y'all stay safe out there.